Thank you very much. And thank you for coming. Thank you for accepting the invitation in a short notice. And I would like to give you the mic to address to the people who are waiting for you. Thank you. Namaskar. Sablo kaise hai? Mujhe bhot kushi hai ki aaj yaha ane ka ye aafsar mila, ye mokha mila. आप सब लोगों से मिलने के लिए और कुछ बात सामने रखने के लिए मैं इसके जो ऑर्गेनाइजर्स हैं उनको धन्यवाद देना चाहता हूं कि उन्होंने मुझे यहां आपके बीच में आने के लिए ये आमंत्रण दिया है फ्रेंड्स लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन सिंस इट्स अ मिक्स्ड ऑडियंस आई विल ट्राई एंड कंबाइन माय इंग्लिश एंड हिंदी व्हेन आई स्पीक टू यू First of all, thank you very much for this outstanding and very warm welcome. I thank all of you in the audience. I, have, uh, I think there's a large majority of people here who are originally from Suriname and who are what we call the Suriname Hindustanis. And the Suriname Hindustanis. <laughs> I've said before and I say this again. The Hindustanis from Suriname are very, very special people. In the ancient legends of India, there is the story of Lord Krishna, one of our gods, who was born to Yashoda, but who was who had who was born to one mother and was brought up by another mother because he had to be separated from his mother at childhood. So people say that Lord Krishna was very special, very blessed because he had two mothers, while most people have only one mother. But the Suriname Hindustanis who live in Netherlands are triply blessed. They have three mothers. <laughs> they have India, they have Suriname, and they have Netherlands. And what is absolutely special about the Suriname Hindustani community is that their ancestors were left India 150 years back. But even today, they maintain their passion for Indian culture, for Hindi, the Indian national language, and for India's religion, India's music, and India's traditions. Just in the manner that people in India do, perhaps with greater fervor and greater passion that people in India bear towards their culture and their traditions. But on top of that, having been taken to Suriname, the people belonging to this community devoted their lives to that country, to the progress of that country, to the development of that country, and they did their utmost to contribute to the welfare of the Suriname's people. And today, after coming here to Netherlands, they are continuing that tradition in the same way. They are doing their utmost to contribute to the welfare of the people of Netherlands, to the success of this country, to the political stability of this country by strengthening the hands of the government here. So truly, I think, the Suriname Hindustani community deserves to be saluted and applauded. Please give a big hand. that the Surinamese community has made to the Netherlands, to Suriname and to India. And we would like to keep all of you close to our hearts in India. We would like 
to demonstrate that we give you importance and that we want you to come again and again to India and we want you to enjoy all that is there to see in India. We want you to take advantage of the economic opportunities in India. We want you to relate and link to your brethren in India. For that, the Indian government has started a scheme which many of you may have heard of called the Overseas Citizen of India Scheme. The Overseas Citizen of India is not dual citizenship, but it is everything short of a full citizenship. The Indian gov government gives any person of Indian origin an OCI card which entitles them to a lifetime visa to visit India, which entitles them to live in India for an unlimited period of time without any restrictions, which entitles them to do business in India, to study in India, and to work in India, except for a small select number of professions, which entitles them to open bank accounts in India and to take advantage of the high rate of interest, 6 to 7 percent, which prevails in India as compared to probably 0 to 5 percent in uh, many parts of Europe. So please avail of this facility which the government of India is offering you. Please stay connected with India. India asks little from its diaspora outside. We always stress, respect the laws of the country you live in, contribute to the society that you live in, but stay connected with India. So the OCI card is the best way to stay connected with India. Please, I appeal to all of you who may not have taken OCI card, the embassy stands here ready to facilitate you in every which way. But going on from that, the second thing I wanted to tell you also was that October 2nd is the International Day of Nonviolence. The UN General Assembly has declared it as the International Day of Nonviolence. The reason October 2nd was declared the International Day of Nonviolence was because Mahatma Gandhi was born on October 2nd. And Mahatma Gandhi is not just the father of the Indian nation, but he is a global icon for nonviolence. The man, Mahatma Gandhi created history by using nonviolent means to earn for India freedom through a popular resistance of injustice and oppression. Mahatma Gandhi inspired Martin Luther King in the United States. Mahatma Gandhi inspired Nelson Mandela in South Africa. Mahatma Gandhi, wherever in the world anybody says there is only one way to solve disputes, it is nonviolence, it is peace, they remember Mahatma Gandhi. We live in troubled times today. The world is going through many difficulties. There is terrorism, there is conflict, there is economic uncertainty. In this world, it is the responsibility of every human being to reaffirm faith in nonviolence and in peace. And what better place to reaffirm this commitment to peace and nonviolence than A, which is known as the city of justice and peace. Therefore, the Indian community here, including all the Sudanese Hindustanis, the people from India, friends of India, members of the diplomatic community, international community, Dutch citizens, all we are in the process of discussing with everyone to bring them together on the 1st of October Sunday in the Hague for a big Gandhi march where we proclaim our support for non-violence and we declare that non-violence and peace are the need of the day. I would, we also intend on October 2nd, the next day, the actual day of international non-violence, to try and go out to the schools and universities of Netherlands and to take the message of non-violence, to talk to the young people in Netherlands about the life of Mahatma Gandhi, about how he achieved what everybody thought was impossible through uh, the path of non-violence and how we as a people, we as the world, we as countries should never give up our faith in non-violence and we must stay committed to this goal. So I, I come here today to appeal to all of you to join these efforts in a big way. Please come and join the Gandhi March 
on the afternoon of October 1st here in the city of Hague. We will publicize the information through the website, through internet. We want as many organizations and as many people to come and join hands with us. We want it to be a celebration of non-violence, a celebration of Mahatma Gandhi in a manner never before done anywhere in the world. And on October 2nd, we appeal to whoever in the community is willing to go to a school, to go to a college, to go to a university and talk about Mahatma Gandhi. Please come forward, volunteer. Let us all work together to spread the message of non-violence and peace far and wide. And as part of these activities, let me add one special bit. There is a place in India, in Gujarat, called Sabarmati Ashram, where Mahatma Gandhi used to live. Something which, is, which the people of Netherlands would specially like and love. Mahatma Gandhi had a bicycle. He used to use a bicycle. And we are hoping to bring that bicycle here to Netherlands on that day, on October 1st. So, all of you can see it. All of you can pay your respects to that bicycle which Mahatma Gandhi himself used and rode. It is special. This bicycle has never left India before. So for the first time it is coming out of the country and it is coming here to Netherlands. So please join hands with the embassy with the Indian community, with all friends, fans and followers of Mahatma Gandhi to make the International Day of Nonviolence a huge success. Thank you very much.